Welcome to Shani Vachamishi. That's the Menida, and that's the security. Long story. Japanese embassy sent an email to all Japanese citizens to be careful because Trump announced Jerusalem capital, Arabs, so that I'm Jewish. My wife said, be careful. I'm supposed to take down the Menida. Long story. Last night I went to uh, one party was a fundraiser for Soroka Hospital. Beautiful. Okay. Not important. Um, beautiful party. There were, there were kids dancing. They were uh, sing, sing, dancing to a Jewish uh, tunes like Yerushalayim uh, Shel Zahav. They did a whole dance. Um, I enjoyed it. I took some pictures. Met some uh, rabbis, rabbonim, like Rabbi Benzaken. Well, kind of like an open. Oh, speaking about open rabbis, before I start, so, so, uh, this woman told me we're getting a rabbi for her house minion. She asks me to come lane. Her husband asks me to lane. He wants me not to drive on Shabbos because he wants to be more traditional, uh, pain in the ass. And she also, for Shalom Bias, gets a nanny to wield a stroller because they didn't build a native yet. I told him there is a spiritual native, Beruchnius Magai, from 100 years ago. There was a, a Yid that came from Poland and he put the native there and it's there. Didn't work. Tried the, I tried the mystic game. It didn't work on them. So, I'm trying to help, you know. Anyway, so when she said open rabbi, I said, what do you mean open rabbi? Even a Chabad rabbi, as much as he's indoctrinated in yeshiva and as backward as he is, he can't come to a community and go and say things that are unacceptable. There's Eifin HaMeskabel. So Eifin HaMeskabel means that you're going to say the Emes that they hired you to say. Uh, I heard this from uh, Gershi Aftzen. He was telling it to Ruven Horowitz in Yeshiva about a, uh, a, a love who came to a shul and uh, he started talking about Shabbos. So the guy was pulling his jacket, you know, because he, he, he was hired to speak. They asked him, Dvar Torah, talk about Dvar Torah. So he spoke about Shabbos, Shemitah Shabbos. So he's pulling him, he's telling him people drive over here, people this, that they can't. So he starts talking about kosher. So he's tugging him again, don't talk about it, this and that. He says to the guy, what am I supposed to talk about? He says, Judaism! Now, uh, which side am I on? You know, the, the, the uh, JLI just has their debate, the, the, this classes on debates, and which side are you on? Well, we're usually on the rational side, and no matter what side we're on, we're usually, uh, usually followers of a religion do whatever everyone in the community does. So, so there really uh, is no sides. You do what everyone else does because you don't want to be weird. And many people learned that the hard way, unfortunately. And that's how it is. You live in a community, you pay the price. Uh, if you're living in a backward community, you know. There's a lot of freedom that we have as Chabad that we're, I'm very lucky for. Uh, and um, lucky in a way that I... Uh, we, we were ahead. We were ahead of the game because we were... Uh, 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 in terms of integrating it into, into modern society, you know. We, we were able to do that much quicker than uh, than Chassidisha. Um, a lot of these guys ne never know how to put on a new uh, a, a suit, a regular suit that you, you know, a modern suit. You don't have to. You can wear what you want. That's fashion. You can wear a Bekisha every day, but they never had that. And if they want that, it's, it's, it's not easy for them. And again, that's part of the psychology of it, to make it very difficult very difficult to easily integrate or leave or whatever so in, in Chabad we had the Mephtsayim which is uh, we would go out and um, like we're programmed and hock people in cup and ask them if they're a Yid and then some people would say they are or they aren't some people didn't want to be bothered some people did, they, 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 they felt very strongly about Yiddishkeit but their mother wasn't a Yid so we would have to hock them that they're they're not a yid when uh, this mishagas. It's uh, it's dumb because of uh, what do you call it? Because in the time of the Maccabees, they forced people to be a yid. So, so what's the 
So we're talking about what the halacha is. In, in any case, if you feel strongly that you're a yid, you're, uh, you're, you're welcome to go and be Magaya. So uh, you're not yaitz to the mitzvah of lighting the candles until you do gear. But, you're, but it's a mitzvah to light the candles just like it's a mitzvah for someone under 13 to light the candles. We'll get into that nonsense. So last night I came to the party and uh, YJP. It's a beautifully uh, organized thing. You have, they use um, a bowling alley in West Hollywood. And everyone's waiting in line. One boy is, uh, is, is, is uh, Israeli. Israeli speaking a fluent English like those, you know, that it's like that modern type, the educated type, you know, and he's like, a, like in his 20s. And he's so excited, and he looks, um, and he looks at a, a couple, a boy and a girl from Echo Park. The girl was half Japanese, she told me, because he asked. And he asks them, are you guys Jewish? And I was just asked if I was Jewish by the Mitzvah Tank Boys, and I, you know, I, I didn't know what to think of it, uh, in terms of uh, asking someone, are, are you like, a, 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 a they can answer you, depends by who, depends what you mean. Am I Jewish as in religious? Am I to identify? And, you know. But definitely this person had a ha maybe one parent that was Jewish for the girl. And he was very excited to be at a Jewish event. And this is a beautiful thing that they did. That uh, even though it's has a religious, um, maybe an agenda or a twist to it, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt the taste, it's, it was tasteful, it was beautiful, people felt uh, comfortable there. And the boy asking, the Israeli boy asking about, is because he just wants to know about Jews, because that's where he's, you know, he's from Israel and this is what he misses. He's in America, he's between people who don't speak his language. So that's what he meant, his, his question was very innocent, he's not coming with any religious agenda. He's just saying it, and uh, they answered yes, and uh, I just watched, and you know, it's a question I would never ask, because, and the uh, Bachram asked me, are you Jewish, and I love to tell them, because I was walking, looking for the address, and the Bachram was a uh, uh, Madre Seawold with the mitzvah tank, and they asked me, and I like to always tell them a story from the Pinya, so like in Avoid, it's an aspirational story, where he says, I try to be. Like they asked Pinya Korf, 